Stop being a pussy. What kind of man sees another man, what kind of grown man sees another man waking up at 425 in the morning and the first thought inside of him is, oh, that's unreasonable. That's unreasonable. What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? Are you guys, are, are you guys serious? It's been three days, three days since I posted a video about, and I've just been like seething because I care so much. My girl would laugh at that shit if she heard something like that come out of my mouth. If she heard something like that come out of my mouth where another man is capable of doing something and I'm like, that's unreasonable. And I start listing off all the excuses as to why I can't. That's the problem, is you think too much about what might happen, about you're gonna lose money if you take this risk, about the people that might judge you. Are you fucking serious? I'm pissed, I'm genuinely pissed, because I sit down every single day and I try to make the biggest impact that I can have on Every single one that watches, every single person that watches my videos, and I'm still getting DMs from dudes who think I'm going to tell them some magic word that's going to make them take action. There's literally a book a call link in the description of every one of my videos, and you guys have the audacity to be like, I'm just, I'm struggling in life. I've been trying for four months. Make it make sense. It, it literally makes no sense. We live in the day of information. You, your problem is not information. Your problem is action. Your problem is action. If you follow me on Instagram so that you can see my morning push-ups at 425 every single morning, you know that this morning I posted on my story and I said, you guys don't have an information problem. You have an action problem. Now, there's some high level tips, some tricks, some systems that I teach that you guys don't know and that's what I do in my coaching. But the biggest thing that you're lacking is accountability, a plan and action. You're thinking too much about the things that you already know. Most of you understand that you have to eat less calories than you're burning if you're a skinny fat bitch to lose weight. Most of you understand that if you're super skinny with twig leg calves and little twig noodle arms that you have to eat in a surplus to gain weight and train hard so you can pack on muscle. But you want to wake up and just have it and be like, once I have the physique, then I'll start working hard. It makes no fucking sense. It makes no sense. It's the same people that think, I'm going to work super hard, I'm going to get a Ferrari, and then the girl's going to want me, even though I'm still fat and insecure and I can't hold eye contact with a woman and all these things, but since the internet taught me that girls only like money, I'm just going to, I'm going to get money. Bro, money is not going to make her like you. Hate to break it to you, bro. Any woman, any woman that you could get with the Ferrari, I could get in my fucking 2006 Acura. Think about that because it's not what I have. It's the man that I am, what I am capable of doing. Think about that. Stop focusing on wanting to buy your mom a house. Stop focusing on wanting to get a Ferrari. Stop focusing on wanting to get a mansion on the coast in Malibu and have a bunch of hoes there. Stop focusing on that. If that is your goal, so be it. Thinking about that is not going to get you there. It's not. Becoming the man who can do anything will. And it's not a lack of information because all the information is on the internet. It is a lack of accountability. You don't have the fucking balls and you haven't built the mental resilience to wake up early before everyone else. To go to sleep on time, stop scrolling on your phone. If you're older, stop scrolling on fucking Facebook, looking at who knows what. Stop your wasting time. If you have children, 
Because there's a lot of guys in my audience that are like 30, 40. They don't comment much, but they're watching my videos. I know you're watching my videos because I see it in my analytics. If you have kids, a family, a wife, any of these things, and you aren't the example, the leading factor of your family, what are you doing? <laughs> you're supposed to be the man of the house. The man of the house has the same amount of estrogen as his, as his wife. Look at you. Genuinely. It is insane. If you are a man of any age and you don't have a process, a system that you can rely on, a morning routine that you can rely on, how do you expect to move forward in life? How? Please explain. I love, I love all the excuses and the little comments and everything. People being like, here's why you can jerk off every day. Here's why everyone, you know what they tell me? You know what they tell me? They're like, the path that you're walking leads to destruction because you're waking up early every day and you're putting your body under immense stress. That is bullshit. I hate to break it to you. The path that you're walking, doom scrolling every day, eating shitty food, sleeping in, giving in to all the little, all the little chemicals and the dopamine spikes and the pleasure indulgences that go on in your brain, that path leads to destruction, my brother. That path leads to destruction. The path of not taking risks, not being able to invest in yourself leads to destruction. All the goals that are floating around in your head that you haven't wrote down physically on a piece of paper yet. You will not get there without becoming the man that can attain those things. Without taking risks. Without investing in yourself. All you guys, you might have $5,000. You might have $100,000, $300,000 in your bank account. I don't know. But with a small amount of money, you guys are focused on, well, I'm going to get into Bitcoin and it's going to 150x and then I'm going to, bro, become prepared. You know what's going to happen if your dream scenario, you put in some crazy meme coin or, you know, you just put in Beam or some shit like that and you miss this bull market. And you guys sit here. You know what I did during this bull market? I kept investing in myself. I kept investing in myself. Because if I cannot make that type of money from my own endeavors, which I am and I'm going to continue to do, then I don't want it. Because easy come, easy go. You have to work for it. I don't want it if it's not hard enough. You guys think if you woke up tomorrow with $5 million in your bank account, all your dreams come true? that you'd be happy, within a week you would fucking hate life completely because there was no journey, no story, no effort, and no sacrifice behind it. You never had any, oh shit, I'm about to lose all my money if I don't fucking get myself together. That's why this works. There was a study done. And um, I think I heard this in, in Chris Williams' podcast, but I've heard it a couple other places. And we talk about this a lot in, in, in my school community mastermind. They did a study. They put a rat in a tube and they tied its tail to this little clip and it would measure the force that the rat, um, you know, accelerated with, right? So you can obviously quantify how fast the rat is, you know, the force that the rat's accelerating with, with like how fast it's trying to pursue something. So when there was a block of cheese at the end of the tube, right? The rat accelerated, you know, pretty fast. It was in pursuit of that. But you know when it accelerated the fastest and with the most pursuit was when there was a block of cheese and then there was a smell of a cat behind it. So it was running from fear and chasing a goal. A lot of you guys are waking up every single day and the alarm goes off. Maybe you watch my videos and you're like, I'm going to wake up at four or you've tried it before and you're thinking back and you know that you were in this situation. And when the alarm went off, it wasn't all magical like you envisioned it to be the night before. And it was difficult and you were tired and you were like, well, I want to get my, I want to get my dream house. I want to live in a mansion. Didn't do much for you. That might work in very small thresholds. 
Very, very small. If you're like, say you need a 70% effort to get out of bed and you're at a 69%, thinking about the mansion, you know, it might push you over that 1%. But most days, you wake up with 20% motivation, 10% motivation. You need something so great that it drives you. The pain is so great that it drives you to get out of bed. No matter if you had four hours of sleep, no matter if you're going to have to work a 16 hour manual labor job like I used to do while, while having to pass all your high school classes and waking up at 5 a.m. and going to the gym every single day just to lose all that money on multiple businesses that you were trying to start. That might be your situation. But until I started to invest in myself, until I started to create delusions of even more pain to make the pain I was going through greater I wasn't able to move forward that is why I sit here and I fucking yell because a motherfucker like me when I hear someone yell at me when I hear someone call me a bitch when I hear someone compare what they've done to what I've done and say I can't do it it makes me be like fuck I can do it and I know everything I need to know about the ones of you guys who instantly get defensive in the comments. You know what it tells me? You don't have it in you. You don't have it inside of you. That's what it tells me. Maybe that's true. Maybe you're able to humble yourself a little bit and understand that you need accountability and you need to take action. I have videos where I talk about exactly what I've done to change my life. Go from smoking weed, go from, you know, just wanting to party every single night, drinking, being addicted to nicotine, staying up late, eating Sour Patch Kids popcorn and pretzels, scrolling on my phone until 4 a.m. with absolutely no purpose and no drive, failing my classes when I was in high school, abs like failing any relationship that I came into, hated my parents, hated everyone around me because I was reflecting my own problems on them. I came from that to where I am now. The 545 method. Five goals, four step morning routine that reflects those goals and five tasks that you need to complete every single day. The four pillars of man, mindset, habits, nutrition, and training. If you can master these things, and hold yourself accountable. If you have someone guiding you, giving you a process, you will reach your goals and you won't even have to think about them every single day. Focus on the daily habits. How close did you stay to your process? How many of your tasks did you complete? How driven did you stay towards your physical and mental goals? And before you know it, you're going to look back and you're going to see you've made years of progress in just a few months, just three to six months. You can absolutely change your life. That's why everyone I coach, it's three and six month options because I can change your life in three to six months. Go look at my Instagram. Go look at my testimonials. The shit that I'm preaching is real. The reason I have so much conviction is because it's real. It changed my life and I'm obsessed with showing it to others. But it is difficult. It is difficult and you have to emotionally commit yourself or else you will give up on yourself. And I don't want that for you. Making money is not going to create an unbreakable man inside of you. If you think that you're fat, that you're insecure, you can't firmly look in the eyes of another man, shake his hand, have a conversation, communicate your points to the people around you properly. If you cannot do that, brother, getting a Ferrari is going to make you more of a bitch because dudes like me, women like my girlfriend, other women that you might be dreaming about getting with are going to see you pull up, 
Maybe you got rich with off crypto. You got rich off something. You finally built enough discipline in one area. You stayed up late every single night. You still ate shitty food. You didn't do anything. You made a little bit of money. And guess what? Now you're a fat, insecure bitch with a Ferrari. That's even worse because now you have status. Now people know who you are and they know that you're a pussy. Right now you have nothing to lose. Right now you have nothing to lose. If I could go back and do this all again, the very first thing I would have done was invested in a mentor. But I was so worried about, oh, I got to have the little bit of money that I'm making. I could have made that all fucking back. If someone were to teach me this earlier. Don't settle for a life of giving into your hand every single night, jerking off. Don't settle for a life of not being able to self-control your mouth and your stomach. Don't settle for a life of your animalistic brain controlling you instead of your actual conscious mind controlling you. I'm tired. I don't want to go to sleep. I got to take a nap. I'm not setting my alarm. My alarm goes off early. Oh, I want to go back to sleep. I want some Cheetos. I want some donuts. I want to watch Netflix. I don't want to do this work. You're just being, you're a fucking, you're a fucking slave to your brain. You're, you're subconscious because you never rise to your ambitions. You always fall to your standards. Create an unbreakable man through an unbreakable process and you have unbreakable results. That's the end of the video. I love you boys. Stay aggressive.